What's up guys? I have been looking at lots of videos on YouTube that have been um all affiliated with um a federal signal mini thunderbolt. Well a mini th mini federal signal thunderbolt. And um I thought that was pretty cool. So um I thought, you know, I think I think I might have pretty much the know how to do it. I think my scale might be pretty off though, but I thought I know I'd have I'd have parts to make it, so I'm like okay, um I'll try it. And this is only the siren's head. This isn't the actual um rest of it though. This is only the stator and the chopper. Um this is what the chopper looks like. I just I have two of these. Um it's a um it looks probably pretty familiar but it's because it's a um an armature out of a brushless computer fan. And it's got the um, uh, brass shaft where you put the bearings in. And um, I did that pretty much. I got that same thing. And I just, um, I had to actually grind away the edges of this because it was a little bit too fat for the stator. And um, there is like barely any clearance between that thing. Like, um, let's see if I can get to focus. Okay. Um, the black part is the inner ring of the stator. And then um, this side is actually the uh, metal the metal casing but you can't even see the bottom right there because the clearance is so tiny but um yeah and it uses um, I believe there's six millimeter six or four millimeter um ball bearings it's got three of them there's two in the bottom and one in the head and one in the top and if I can pop it out which I probably can't they're a little stuck in there um there's the armature head. You see where it's ground down, well, brushed off. And um, there's the, the top bearing in there. There's the shaft and the stator. Um, there's actually two holes in the stator because I screwed up when I was making the first one. I put that hole too close to the top, so now there's actually a space. You know, hold on, let me show you. There's actually a space between the top of the chopper and the um the stator. You see there's a space right there, right? In the very top. So that's a problem because it lets um, all of my air that comes from um, that blower, which I will be the, um, the Thunderbolt's blower, um, it actually lets it most some of it escape at the top and makes a really annoying hissing sound. So it doesn't sound like the legit um, Federal Signal Thunderbolt because it freaking leaks. So it's more like it's kind of an annoying sound. And, um, so I took that, and I had to re-drill another hole that actually fit and was fully closed so that it wouldn't have that bit of space at the top. And, um, that's the slot. And, um, the horn I'm going to be using for this, it's not square like a normal Thunderbolt. It's just um, a really crappy Wolo horn. And um, it's pretty long, actually, compared to the actual head. I think I might have the scale wrong for that. I think it needs to be way shorter, like to right here or something, like right up there. But um, that's what it would look like. And yes, I'm on my bed. It's a little because I don't have my um garage right now. My grandpa's working on something. So yeah, these bearings are extremely tiny. Um, I'll probably like post another video on actually how to make the siren head. It's actually really easy. Um, I only used one thing to make this entire head. It was a, um, a blower um, from a CPU and um, I actually have a, a different version of it right here. That's a different version except it doesn't have the, the metal um, the metal um, ah, the metal stator like that one does. And um, you want to get the one that's got the metal stator. I'll tell, like I said, I'll post another video on exactly what it's called. But, um, that's the uh, chopper and stator portion. And, um, that's the blower. I showed you that, I think. It's a 6 volt, um, 6 volts DC, um, Coleman quick pump, I think it's called. And there's the, um, actual motor in it. And it's a centrifugal, centrifugal blower, obviously. And, um, it's pretty much like the same um, impeller as like a um, 
one of those ch cheap, crappy vacuums that you can get that are battery powered. It's pretty much the same thing as that. It's just used for a blower instead. And, um, anyway. Uh, so that's the head. That's another armature, which is, I'm not even going to use that. But, um, this will be the chopper rotor. Um, um, this might be a little too big, obviously, because this is, like, freaking huge compared to that little thing. Like, there's a size comparison. That sounds really wrong. Um, that's a size comparison. Um, the motor is actually quite bigger than the actual, uh, I think it's a little too long. I think it's supposed to be actually down to that yellow line. But, um, I think it's a bit too big for this, um, chopper. But it's, I'm working off of what I find, um, of what I find, so I'm not actually putting anything to scale, although I'm trying to. Uh, I don't have a rotator yet, though. Um, I don't know exactly where I'm going to find one of those, because that's actually pretty hard. I think I might find a, um, a gearbox reducer at, um, Edmund Scientific, but I'm not sure. And, um, this actually does make sound by itself. It doesn't, I'm, it sounds better with the blower hooked up, but those little veins inside there actually work great. It's like, this just normal fan inside of a siren. So if I, um, actually put this up to the, um, mic, I'll probably have to do this. I'm going to put it down first. And if I do this, you actually hear it a bit. Um, most of it's actually just the bearing scraping, but if you listen very carefully... I really have got no idea if you can hear that or not. But, yeah. That's what it sounds like. That top bearing it even isn't even actually spinning, which it should be. But, um, the, the, um, the reason why it's got two bearings in it is just because, um, since this is going to be in the side, it's going to have a bit of linear weight to it, so it's going to be kind of like that, because of the horn. So it's going to have a bit of weight to it, so, um, if I'm, like, if I'm spinning this, if it's straight up and down, that bearing probably won't even spin, but as soon as I move it, like, a bit to the side, the weight will change, and that bearing will start to spin a bit, and you probably can't even see that, but it's spinning. It is barely... And now it stops spinning. But yeah. So anyway, that's the first part of the Thunderbolt. And I'll actually take... Um, that's not helping. Anyway, I'll deal with that later. So that's the first part of the Thunderbolt. I'll do another video series as soon as I get more parts and I get farther into the actual build of it. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe if you want to. Don't really care about that stuff.